Halloween is coming, the pumpkins are here. Uh, I don't know any Halloween rhymes, so I won't be cheesy and going to one, but we just thought we're prepping up for something this afternoon. Whilst we can still see bodies, we have got a little, uh, a little fun uh, hen do that we're doing this afternoon with pumpkins. So we thought we'd just come live to you now and do a very quick and easy flowery pumpkin that you can do with the kids or for yourself um, over or leading up to Halloween, just something totally different. Um, so we just thought we'd do a little bit of fun. This is very quick, very easy. We're not even gonna get sort of technical with cuts or anything like that. We have our little pumpkin here. So we've got our little divine glittery pumpkin ones. So we're just gonna cut the top. So literally just insert a nice sharp knife, trim round the edge of the pumpkin. So this is taking it to the next step, just a very quick and easy thing that you might be able to do at home. So we've done our little pumpkin, we've magented it up, we've taken the lid off, there it is. There's our little lid, our little pumpkin. Now what we do is we take a piece of wet oasis, just cut it to size and pop it inside the pumpkin. There we go, so that is in the pumpkin. Then we're just gonna take some foliage, some autumn foliage. So I've got a little bit of eucalyptus here by the side of me. So we'll take some eucalyptus and we're just going to arrange the eucalyptus in our pumpkin. So just a few little sprigs sprouting out, giving us a little bit of autumn magic. Just something slightly different to the normal little faces and usual Halloween madness. So we've just put a few little sprigs of that in. This just gives us a little base within our pumpkin. There we go. Just pop that. And then we're just gonna take some little flowers, some little heads of flowers. Now you can take bits and pieces from the garden if you want to, um, sort of raid nature and see what she's doing. We've got some fabulous, look at this, for a fabulous little spooky rose. It's beautiful, little Colombian rose. Just picks up that sort of magenta -iness and works beautifully with the orange. So we're gonna put one of those in, and I'm gonna put another one in here. Just gives us the offside. Now we're gonna put a couple of little, a couple of little chrysanthemums, a few little sprigs, just to give us that beautiful orangey Halloween-y feel. Oh, spooky, the spooky feel at Halloween. Two, three, four, there we go. So just place them in. It's not, it's not rocket science. We're not really having to make sort of a really um, intricate design. We're just putting a few of these in here just to give us a little bit of color. And then we'll take a little sprig of oh, these beautiful little orange spray roses. They're just divine. And we'll pop those in, just there and there. Just look at that, look at the colour, the orange and that magenta. Beautiful divine pink. Sorry, this is wanting to go in. There we go. Let's pop those there. That's it. And then just to give us a bit more of a rich sort of magenta link, I've got a couple of these little chrysants at the front. And I'll just pop this in. So this is just a very quick, easy, fabulous, fun idea that you can play with over half term in the lead up to Halloween. Something that all of the kids can do. If you haven't got that sort of artistic edge of carving pumpkins, then just spray, spray them, glitter them up, make them look magical. There we go. Very quick and easy. Just pop that one in there. Put that one in the front. And then we'll just put that there. So there we go. Very quick, very simple. Just a little idea for some Halloween fun. A little sparkly, fabulous, beautiful 
flowery bit of pumpkin magic. If you liked what you've seen, then please do follow us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram, but more importantly, catch us on YouTube, where you'll find all of our tips and our hints and our magical creative ideas. Lovely to see you. Thank you.